Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we are taking a look at some Kill Squad Laloon attacks. Now, you guys are going to see some attacks that might also qualify a little bit of Sui Lalo, but really it's kind of a, a minor difference. Uh, Kill Squad Laloon, Sui Lalo, it's all kind of the same thing, just a degree of how much are you investing with your heroes. So I want to focus in this video. Um, on investment. What are you investing in your kill squad versus what are you getting? And the goal is to invest as little as you can, but get the most value that you can. So, um, we'll take a look at this first Town Hall 12 attack here, just a wall wrecker in the heroes. And what you guys will notice is when you're looking at using a kill squad or Sui heroes, whatever you want to call it, um, there's points where if you add a little bit more to your kill squad you won't really get much more so maybe there's like a set of walls that you won't get past unless you bring a lot more troops unless you bring a jump spell those are good stopping points so you want to look at uh, with your kill squad what do you want to get with it um, if you bring like an extra few bowlers do you think you can get to maybe one more air defense or one air sweeper or you just get a little bit farther and get more value or are you just wasting your time by only getting like an extra cannon or maybe even just having your troops stay on the wall a little bit longer. So this attack did a nice job. Just the wall wrecker and the heroes got some pretty insane value. And you guys will notice that on these spread out bases, um, smaller kill squads tend to be better. Because all the spells, all the troops you're not using in your Lalo or in your kill squad is going to your Lalo. And uh, the goal is always to keep as much in your Lalo as possible. A uh, great warden's ability here. It's always a good idea to use it, obviously over the town hall, but also as you're like pushing balloons out. So if they're in a haste and they're like going to be rushing into a new group of defenses, use it there because they're going to be encountering traps and they'll be being targeted by new defenses. Not best to use it when they're just kind of sitting around out of haste. You want to use it when they're moving quickly because that way you get the most value from that Warden's Tome. Uh, switching gears a little bit, this one I want you guys to think about. Um, not a max base, but doesn't really matter for our purposes here. Um, look at how this, this may have been a diminishing return, maybe invested too much in this kill squad. So here we go. Uh, drops down the queen, the wall wrecker, four bowlers. Now he brings a golem inside the wall wrecker and he, the value was just not, like this compartment is what he's gonna get. The wizard tower, the one on the outside and the one on the inside, the inferno tower, and then those two expos in the queen. But beyond that, there's, there's really no, the walls are stopping, there's no jump, the wall wrecker doesn't get far enough. So the Warden's Tome what allows everything to kind of come in, take out the Queen, take out the uh, Expos. But you'll notice that Golem, um, things don't get any farther. Like, having that extra stuff up right now isn't doing much. All it's doing is tanking cannons, which don't matter anyway for Laloon. And the Golem sitting there at full health, not really doing a whole lot. So my point is, maybe don't bring those four bowlers and just bring bowlers inside the Wall Wrecker. Using the Warden's ability, he probably could have got the same value but would have had much more, or at least a little bit more in his Laloon. So this one's still gonna triple, but think about that. Um, you don't wanna just bring troops for the sake of bringing them. Look at what's there, what's avail available to get with the kill squad, and it's almost like if you were to plot the value versus the investment, some points are very good. You're investing not that much for good value, but there's also, it kind of dips back down where you start investing more, but you're only getting a tiny bit more, if anything, uh, from that extra investment. So look for good stopping points where you're getting just enough and not wasting anything, maybe on that next layer of walls you have to get through, or that next cannon, or something that doesn't matter as much. So keep that in mind here. This one um, was more of a Sui Lalo. Um, I also want to say, as we watch this attack, which had some great value here, from the heroes. They're going to get a lot, and it was a good idea just to sue the heroes, not bring anything beyond just a few giants to tank. I love the giants on the Sui Lalo. It just gives so much extra life to that queen. Um, but anyway, I want to say this video was uh, brought to you guys by a patron on Patreon. I feel terrible that it's been way too long. I mean, it, this was for the August patrons, so this should have been out in early September, but it's just been dragging on. 
um, for me to get the replays and finally get this thing recorded. But a shout out to um, the patron. He knows who he is. And um, if you guys are interested, you can sign up on Patreon, custom bases, uh, request videos, Discord server access, stuff like that. Uh, for the bases, you guys have just a few days before um, bases are going to be sent out and finalized for the September patron. So you got to the end of the month for that if you're interested. So uh, shout out to him for helping me uh, get to this video topic. But anyway, uh, you guys may have noticed, took out some just some incredible value for just the heroes and a few giants. Like I said, I love those giants with the queen. Um, they are giving her a lot of extra life, just a few giants. And then, of course, has a ton for the Lalo on the back end. Now, this video isn't supposed to be anti-big kill squad. I'm a huge fan of bringing a big kill squad at Town Hall 11. Um, I think you can push very far and make whatever you're using on the back end, whether it's Hogs or Laloon, very simple with a big kill squad. But it's almost the medium-sized kill squad that can be the worst because you're not quite getting far enough to make it like a very simple Lalo, but you're investing enough that you don't have that much left over to do the Lalo with. So big kill squads definitely can work, but you have to make sure that it's worth it to continue pushing through the base. You're not just gonna be, you know, taking out stuff that doesn't matter. You gotta keep that in mind. So here we have a Boulder Bounce Quake on an air defense. Very nice stuff there. Uh, wizard funnel golem down and this is a pretty straightforward uh, kill squad push I like the golem if there's enough point defense to make it worth it um, arguably there was here because they all lock on this allowed the uh, wall record to get maybe a little bit farther get through both those layers of walls and then uh, heroes go in king valks out of the wall record just destroy that compartment queen is in as well and I think this was probably a, a good use of the kill squad because you'll see um, maybe a little bit too much. Uh, the golem was questionable because uh, the king you can see is on that wall. That's lost value. Um, it would have been better if his ability was just used and then he barely had enough in him to take out that compartment because him, him beating on the wall is a function of there maybe being a little bit too much tanking in there and uh, a few giants might have got the job done. But anyway. Uh, the queen goes around the outside, gets some more value, which actually worked out really nicely, and um, the Lalo finishes off. So there's going to be tons of cases where you're going to lose value from your kill squad, your troops might not even get funneled in correctly, or you'll have a situation where you have leftover Valk's king uh, beating on a wall, and of course be, be uh, safe rather than sorry if it's in, you know coming down and taking out the queen. Just stuff that's going to make or break your attack. You always want to err on the safer side. But this video is just trying to point out, you know, sometimes you got to be aware of, uh, you know, what are you really trying to do? What are you investing in? And um, what are you going to get in return? I love the uh, bowler bounce here off the uh, collectors. That's something I, I always try to do. If you can get a tank down, you can bowler bounce archer towers off those uh, collectors and gold mines. So... Uh, good stuff there. King, queen moving in. Giant to tank. This is way back. Um, these, some of these attacks are a little bit older. Uh, I think this might have been a CWL attack, actually. But king is down tanking. This is another one, and I, I'm, I'm happy I'm making a video that includes uh, Sui Lalo attacks, where you just use basically the heroes and maybe wall breakers slash giants, and also, you know, kill squad attacks with wall wreckers and golems because they're one and the same it's the same attack you're just either going to invest more or less depending on what's there so in this case i th i think there was just enough invested um you can see having stuff get into that compartment with the air sweepers wouldn't have done much unless you got the single infernos because i could see easily someone bringing too much and uh, maybe getting close to the single infernos but not taking them out so uh, in this attack brings just enough to get that top compartment taken out basically Nothing more than has enough for the Lalo to uh, crush the rest of the base. The Electro Dragons in the uh, CC to kill the Queen, interesting choice. You can use the Electro Dragon or even regular Dragons, both tend to do the job. And uh, Lava Hound up, just too much because there was a very, very small investment here um, with the, the Kill Squad. Just the heroes, few Giants, few Wall Breakers. Um, allows you to bring a lot more in the Lalo. So 
be stingy with uh, how you go about your kill squads. Don't throw in bowlers or Valks or whatever that you don't need. Try to do it with the least amount as possible. One thing that's over uh, rated or underrated is using your king as a funnel. Um, don't just throw the king into the base if he's just going to be beating on a wall. Use him creatively to funnel, to tank, and to take out defenses as you can. So that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Shout out to my patron on Patreon once again. Links in the description if you're interested. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.